Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, K7SW. And in this video, I'm going to be fixing a Yesu problem. Over the last year, my 857D has developed some sort of a weird problem where the encoder knob, when you're dialing around frequencies or you're using the menu function, it would skip. It would miss beats where it was supposed to stop. And that was just no good. It was very frustrating if you needed to get to a menu, and the menus are bad enough as it is. But when you wanted to get to a frequency, and it would skip frequencies, it was pretty annoying when you needed to get somewhere fast. And I looked to YouTube. I couldn't find anyone that had a problem except for one guy, and I didn't speak the language. I could see the fix, what it was and how he fixed it, but I didn't know what it was. So I contacted Yesu and discovered that there was a part that you could get. And after we got a diagram, I found the person that knew what the part was to send to me, I got that thing ordered. Now this took three phone calls to Yesu to figure out what it was, and the persistent to play phone tag with them over and over. I think it was a dollar ninety or something like that. I'll put a link in the description below for what that was in case you've got this problem. So now the problem really exists in the radio head, the detachable head, and it's a pretty easy fix. There's a couple screws that you take off and then you get to the four inner screws to remove the inner plate to take that off. It wasn't too difficult to remove the solder from this part. There were three pins on one side and two pins on the other. And then there were two bigger connection pins that held this uh, encoder pod to the radio faceplate, the panel as it's called. The soldering part was really pretty easy. I just used my suction solder suction tool, heated it up, sucked all the old stuff off as you can see here in the video, pulled off the old part, and then soldered the new one back on. That didn't take a long time and I was back in business. I put the whole thing back together and took it out in the back patio here to do a test. This is K2G. Kilo Juliet 6. Kilo 7, Sierra Whiskey. Who is it, Kilo 7? Kilo 7, Sierra Whiskey. K7, Sugar Whiskey. Roger, Roger, you're 5 9 into Utah, sir. Well, that appeared to be the fix for me. The little encoder knob that I got replaced from Yesu for only a dollar or something, that was way worth it. I didn't like using my 857 because it skipped around a lot and I never end up where I'm at. I'd skip frequencies and, and that was just no fun. So now it is so much better. We're working, I did some DX in the backyard. I put up a little vertical back here. I can take it on some parks on the air activations to get more power when the KX2 is just not gonna be enough. So I hope you got some value out of this. Make sure you click that like button down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. 7-3.